Hello and welcome to another uh, Fallout 76 fast play video by another, I mean the first one. Uh, I am your host, CarrotBoy3000, and, uh, you know, this is my second channel where I like to post Let's Plays and less edited stuff, and we are starting uh, a new journey on here. I don't know how long this journey will be, but we are starting a new journey where I'll be playing uh, Fallout 76 for you all. Um, I'm a big fan of this game. Uh, I... I, I, so, so I'm a big fan of this game, and I wanted to kind of talk about it in this first Fast Play video. Um, today is uh, Tuesday, September 13th, which is National Peanut Day. I don't know how long I'm going to do this national holiday thing for. I was listening to the radio the other day, and I heard somebody mention, like, basically somebody just say, like, oh, national holiday is this. And I'm like, whoa, wait a second. Other people do that shtick? And people on the radio do that shtick? Maybe uh, maybe it's not as original as I thought, so who knows? Maybe I'll stop doing it, but for now, happy National Peanut Day. I hope you're celebrating in the best and most safe way possible. Um, so today, a new season of Fallout 76 starts. Uh, basically, it's a, you know their battle pass begins again, where you, you, know, you just earn cosmetics uh, for the most part. That's generally the idea. Um, you know They have their own events that go on. And I, I feel like the Battle Pass is somewhat separate from that. You know, the, the Battle Pass, more so than Fortnite, is, is very focused on um, cosmetics. I mean, Fortnite Battle Pass is focused on cosmetics as well. But I feel like when a new season of Fortnite starts, a lot changes. In, in A lot more changes, you know what I mean? But then again, maybe I don't know. Um, so I, I thought it would be, before we jump in to Fallout 76 on this channel, um, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of go over uh, my thoughts on the game right now. Um, I, I have, like, uh, you know, a, a video about, like, my thoughts on the vanilla version of the game. Kind of a quick thought on my main channel, Carrot Scraps. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I love... I've, I've loved this game for a while. I talk about it a little bit there. I also talk about it in my, my Fallout Memories video. Um, but... I don't know where to start. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to explain this properly. It's late. First of all, let me just say, it's a late night. Uh, I'm, I, it, it is like, what, 11.30 at night, um, and I just got back from uh, visiting family slash going to see a live performance, and I'm tired, but I was like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready for a fast play video. This has to happen now. I just took a shower. I just took my nighttime shower. I have to do this right now. Um, and, and what I wanted to do was basically, so I'm going to be playing on PlayStation 5. I'm, I'm going to be playing on PlayStation 5, but I'm still playing the PlayStation 4 version of the game. And that's the footage that you're looking at right now. Um, I, I, I kind of, uh, are debated the idea of starting the game from the beginning once again, but I've done it a couple times, especially like in, in, in relation to this channel in other ways, whether it's like streaming on Twitch or you know, you know, streaming in other places on, on YouTube, um, and I I just feel like I've done it a couple times, and I'm still very early in this version or in in, in the game. So I was like, you know what, let's let's just kind of go over what I've done so far in this copy, um, and just you know, start. Let's not stress it too much. You know, the whole point of raw carrot scraps, the whole point of uh, fast play is to just chill. Okay. I'm also not sure if the background noise is too loud, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. But we will see, you know. I'll, I'll watch this back, and I'll decide for myself. Um, so, you know, I, I first of all, I made... Uh, my, 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 my main account of Fallout 76 is on the PC. That's where I've played the majority of my gameplay. I'm somewhere in the mid-100s, like I'm, I'm like 100, maybe 20... Uh, level my, my level is like 120 maybe maybe 130 I, I don't know off the top of my head and I used to play this game every day again I talk about this on my main YouTube channel I used to play this game every day when I was before you know the pandemic uh you know ironically talking about fallout and and pandemics and and you know kind of pretend apocalypses not pretend whoa wait a second <laughs> not not pretend apocalypses well 
the the pan the real world pandemic was very real. I want to whatever I was trying to say. I was talking about pretend apocalypse and fallout. Whatever I was trying to say about COVID and the pandemic, the pandemic was real. <laughs> I lived through it and it was awful. So not casting doubt on that at all. Uh, let's make that clear. Boy, you can tell that I'm recording this at eleven at night. Um, but I you know before the pandemic started, where I had to quarantine, uh, you know, pretty seriously, and. I used to work in person every day and it would take a lot of time, you know, to commute to work and whatever. And so I'd come home and, uh, uh I didn't really, I wasn't super into Fallout 76 when it first came out. Uh, and then like maybe three months later, I was like, you know what? I'm determined to enjoy this game. I want to see what it's about. I want to find at least one thing to like about it before I close the, the book on it forever. And I ended up really getting into it. And then from then I played it every day for like, you know, a year or two. Uh, maybe maybe like a year and a half, maybe a year. I don't I don't remember the exact timetable. Um, and until COVID hit um, and the pandemic hit, and I, I continued playing for a while. But there was something about like being indoors all the time. Like I, I liked the escape of kind of coming to this virtual world um, and existing after like a long day of work. And when I was kind of just home all the time, it didn't feel like I needed that escape in that way. I guess anymore. So I just you know it started to slip for me. Um, which meant that I just wasn't playing as often. And then Avengers came out, and I became obsessed with that game. Um, and this game, got, this game kind of, uh, you know, fell to the wayside, uh, unfortunately. And it's still one of my favorites, and I still like returning to it. But I haven't been... So since stopping playing so regularly, when I come back to the game, I kind of have this, like, I don't know what to call it, like a weakness almost. Like, you know, what's happening with it? Just a lot of uh, voice chatter. Maybe I sh should. Sorry about the fast play quality. I mean, I think it's fine. I don't think it's too invasive. It's going to sound like talking on top of talking. Hopefully that's not the case. Um, but every time I tried coming back to the game after that, and I would come back, I would play, but like it was like I was out of practice, and I, like it was like an alien world like that I couldn't, in a bad way, not in a good way, where like I didn't know the controls anymore, I didn't know how to play, I didn't know how to spend my time in Fallout 76, and it's been difficult rekindling that flame, that passion that I had for the game for a while. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I keep trying to reapproach it. And so I thought, I don't know, maybe we could work through some of that on uh, Raw Carrot Scraps, and I could play a little bit of Fallout 76 with you and try and figure out you know, how to play the game again and, and try to try things out together. Maybe I could try, you know, replaying most of the story. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty early in the story. As you can see, if you're familiar with the game, I'm doing the first responder or, or doing the responders uh, uh, quests where, um, you know, I kind of align. I, I train myself and I align myself. Uh, this is my character. And I align myself with um, the responders early on, you know, which was like a group of people post um you know, nuclear explosions that were trying to help one another. You know, they, they had, they, they, they were various other, you know, important first responder jobs that got together to protect like common people, so to speak. And so I'm training myself as, as somebody who got out. Um, my character, by the way, if you're a fan of Lost, uh, I, I just thought it would be fun to play as Saeed from Lost. I love Saeed. I think he's a cool character. And I was like, Hey, I'm making a new character. What, what, what if, you know, what, what character on Lost would be really awesome in the world of Fallout? And I thought Saeed. And so I have this kind of headcanon where I'm like, you know, they did something on the island and he teleported to the world of Fallout. And so um, that's that's it, that just, just him surviving. <laughs> he, he got into the wrong stuff uh, back in the world of um, of Lost. So that's the skinny kind of. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Vault 76, um, basically, you know, the general story is that Vault 76, and forgive me if I get some of the details wrong off the top of my head, um, Vault 76 uh, is one of the, you know, I'm not going to go over, like, the Fallout story, but Vault 76. Vault 76, the whole point of Vault 76 is that you are going to be the first people to be released from the vault out of anybody, as, out of any other vault. Um, you know, all of the hundreds of vaults that exist in the world of Fallout and, and you know, from Vault Tech. Vault 76 was going to be the first one to open, and you were going to reestablish the world, and you were going to catalog stuff, and you were going to check things out. And um, 
uh, you know, you, you come into Appalachia, uh, West Virginia, and you kind of discover that things are not exactly what you thought they were. Um, it's a little different than you expected. I don't know, which was always kind of funny. It's like, you know, how expected is the apocalypse? But you find these kind of new Fallout creatures, new to the franchise, called the Scorched, which are kind of like these zombies with a little bit more um, of a hive mind and a little bit more intelligence. They kind of retain the skills of the uh, person who died before them without the personality. So they they have this hive mind that they share, and they're like, oh, you know, Legion, we are Legion, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and they can wield weapons, they can wield guns, and they can wield melee weapons, and they just come for you. Um, and sometimes, eventually, you know, they'll freeze in place, and they'll just solidify. Uh, that was a crazy explosion. And so you'll find those kind of things, you know, uh, uh, around. We just looked at a ghoul on the floor. Very different than a ghoul. I don't know about very different, but different than a ghoul for sure. For definite, right? Um, and that's, like, the general idea. And then, so, you know, where we are in the story of Fallout 76 is that our vault leader, um, you know, she left to do her job and we're kind of following her logs um, to figure out, you know, what, what, what she was doing and, and, and to kind of, you know, learn to help Appalachia, uh, you know, from the situation that wasn't expected. You know what I mean? Um, the original idea of Fallout 76 was that every player was a, was a, a, a vault dweller, right? Uh, of Fallout 76, and you all were populating, you know, this world together again. Um, and there were no NPCs uh, that were friendly. There were no friendly NPCs, and there were very few human uh, or, or, or NPCs that were capable of speaking. So it was a very empty world. Again, I have a video about this on my main channel. Um, but since then, you know, the game got a lot of criticism for that, so, the, so uh, you know, Bethesda and Fallout tried to meet their fans in the middle, and so we've had a bunch of different updates, like Wastelanders, I believe it was called, um, and uh, a bunch of updates since then that add new and like human NPCs with dialogue, and and so the story has changed dramatically since uh, uh, you know since then. And I I don't think I've oh no carrot what have you done? I don't think I've done any of that yet in this game. Again, I think I've just started the main story. So you know we can just you know dedicate. A, I, I have a feeling that these fast play videos will be a little longer than they typically would be for maybe my Avengers ones or maybe my, uh, you know, uh, Back for Blood ones. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, check it out. You know, again, I'm relaxed. That's kind of the whole idea. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Um, or sorry, on the 13th, on, on today. It's today. I have a doctor's appointment today. And, you know, as somebody who's trying to make content, you know, pretty regularly, doing fast play videos is nice because if I can't get a stream in, I can post one of these. And I can feel like I did more um, in the day as well as getting, like, stuff in my real life done. So fast play videos are nice for that. Um, if you're interested in them, you know, check them out. Give them a like. It helps. If you're not, totally fine, you know. Uh, it, it's not my main content. It's meant to be as chill as possible. Um, on the 13th, again, a new season is starting. So that's their battle pass. And uh, I have a feeling that if the next fast play video for Fallout 76 is not me, like, playing the game and, like, doing a thing, um, it will be me going over the uh, battle pass and kind of, I guess, like, kind of giving it a score maybe we'll rank it out of 20 right that's the that's the normal thing to do that everybody does especially me who founded it but we've been doing it for thousands of years even though i founded that system um this robot's wearing a hat um they're all wearing hats uh you know that was something i tried to do previously and tried to post on this channel actually and it was hilarious because it was when my computer first was fixed and i was like oh i you know what i want to make more fallout content i love fallout i'm a big fallout fan let's just do something simple and you know review this this uh battle pass and unfortunately i can't remember exactly what happened i think my mic was unplugged and i just had that like stomach sinking moment where i just looked down and i'm like that's that is wonderful. Of course that ha of course that happened. That is wonderful after all. Why wouldn't that happen? You know what I mean? Um, but the mic is recording now. I can look at it. I see my levels. The question is, are my levels good? That is later to be determined. 
So I think we've uh, done everything that I wanted to do for this video. Again, kind of establish who my character is. A big part of Fallout for me, especially Fallout 76, uh, or no, just in general, is role playing. So I like to have like a story. Some of my first videos on my main YouTube channel uh, followed, I can't even remember what their name was, but was a very specific vault dweller um, in the world of Fallout 76. And I, I, you know, it doesn't matter that much, but to me, it's important to come up with a character before I play. And so even though this is less original, right? Like I didn't make a character, I kind of copied copy and pasted a character uh, in the form of Saeed. I like the idea of dimension hopping Saeed, who like was like, you know, I was on an island and it was crazy. And now I'm in a completely different scenario that totally sucks in a completely different way. But you know what? I am resourceful and I will survive. So we got, we went over that, my character. We went over where I am at the, in the story. I'm, this wasn't the last thing I did, um, but it, it, it gives you an idea of what we done, we've done so far and where we are. I think the last thing I did was um, like uh, a cure, develop a cure for myself for the um, Scorch Plague. Um, so I'm immune to it now. You know what I mean? Other people might not be, but myself, I worked on that. I followed the directions of people who had passed away in Appalachia. And now I am, uh, you know, now I'm, now I'm immune to that, which is great. Um, and then uh, talking about the, the new um, scorecard, the new... Uh, battle pass the new season that's coming out today uh you know i might even upload two um fast play videos today i'm not sure uh, uh but that could be possible so we went over all that the other thing is to, to remember that i'm bad at this game uh, uh suddenly because i've you know i've been playing for a while but i you know haven't I haven't played in, I, I, I've, I've been playing for a while, but I haven't played in a while, and so I'm bad at the game, and so, as you saw earlier, I will die, and I will die. I, I will die, I am not afraid. Um, so bear with me on that one. Anyway, everybody, uh, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking the video and subscribing to stay notified of when I go live. I try to do a, uh, you know, a, a random content whenever I can. This is my second channel. I post more unedited raw content here. Um, that's why it's called Raw Carrot Scraps. But my main channel, Carrot Scraps, is where I post my edited and scripted videos. I'm working on a three-part video uh, right now that I'm really excited about, but I posted a tier list for Hellraiser the other day. Um, and I have a couple of Fallout uh, videos if that's uh, is something that you're interested in. If you want to watch me play video games live, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash carrot scraps. So, listen... I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.